I'm feeling great. Obviously, I'm having this mindset like, OMG, am I gonna be ready for the show? Is 10 weeks enough? Did I sacrifice that one week with my family in town? And am I really gonna be that behind? All these things go in my mind and I have to just remember just to trust the process and just give it all, follow it 100%. If I give it all, then I'm just going to move forward. If I keep taking step back, then obviously I'm just going to go backwards. Our mind plays a lot of tricks in our brains. We start self-sabotaging ourselves, whether it's in fitness, whether it's in business, whether anything in life, we start questioning ourselves. We start wondering, what if, what if? And, and we start like sabotaging our own results, no matter what it is. I, same thing with the show, I always have to stop and remember like, I'm seeing progress, I'm seeing changes. It's not only the way I look, it's also the way I feel mentally. Because of this, it's making me feel unstoppable in anything I do, not giving me a strong mindset in general about life, about decisions I make, the things I do with my daughter, the things I do with my husband, the things I do with my friends. My goal is to inspire everybody, not just moms, but anyone that there are gonna be struggles in life and we can't have those moments stop us of moving forward. We have to remember there's no smooth roads. There's always bumpy roads. Especially right now, I'm staring at a road. It's completely bumpy. And there's a lot of cracks. And we have to still, we still move forward. We still are driving. That her falls, she still gets up. She walks. She runs, she trips, she falls. She runs, she walks, she whatever she does, she still gets up and she keeps moving forward to get to her destination. So that's what we have to remember. If we want to reach that goal, we have to keep moving forward and reach that destination. Have that eye on that target and just never stop. That is my post-workout rant and we'll talk to you guys later. Peace. I've been feeling good, I've been pushing hard, I've been on point since the last video you've seen. I did 110% like I've been saying I was gonna do. I've been on point with my meals, I've been on point with my macros. I am making sure I am on point. Now, I had to give my feedback to my coach last week before my family came in town. My feedback from my coach was, I'm on the right track, keep it up, and got my new plan, all that stuff. Then later on, obviously, I knew that that week was going to be a fail. Second feedback I got is, 
is for me to stick with my plan for one more week to check it out and finish my cardio because they're looking for me to be more conditioned. And obviously, I, I held myself back. Instead of me moving forward, I totally took a step back because of that week. And I knew that's what was going to happen. So that means I have a lot of catching up to do. How do I feel? I'm not going to lie, I feel scared and nervous. But I also remember la my last show. I remember how much it's such a tease. I'm so far out and I get nervous and scared. And I wonder, like, am I even ready? Am I going to be ready? And I even remember my last show. I was two weeks out and I didn't sign up yet. And I was not sure. I'm like, should I push back? I was, like, nervous because... I wanted to make sure that I get qualified for nationals and I almost did not do that show but I did and I pushed hard and I won second place and I qualified for nationals and it's that mind fuck that like fucks you up and tells you you're not good enough you're not ready and then later now I'm second guessing myself because I'm a mom and now I'm thinking well I've done the over six shows. I've done eight shows. I've done two national shows. I actually lost count. I lost track how many shows I've done. And I realized this is the first time I'm doing it as a mom after having a baby. This is like I went almost 13 months postpartum. Now am I being wrong of how my results are going to be? So these little things go in my mind. Am I being realistic with this? But I know I am. And I know I got a lot of time and I'll do this. This is where I'm at with my mindset and I just want to let you guys know the feeling. All right, time to go. Peace. Right now, I'm at the gym parking lot and I am about to do some fasting. I've been up since 4.44 a.m. Yes, precisely 4.44 a.m. And Maui is my alarm clock. Today, I told myself that I'm going to go to the gym early in the morning, just get it done with, make that coffee pot, and read a book and then head to the gym. I feel great. I weighed myself this morning and I lost a pound. I'm finally 132. I'm stuck in this weight off and on for the last couple months and I have not been doing showing my videos of my workout is I'm usually in the zone of working out and I just don't wanna stop and set the camera down, making sure the angle's right and press record and film. I feel like it's just taking up my time, especially I am very limited in my time at the gym because usually I take Maui with me and I only have an hour and a half to do what I need to do. And during that time too, I would like to do the steam room and the shower. There will be days that I will opt the steam room out just so I could make sure I get my full workout in because that is important. But there are times that I do need the steam room. It's a great way for me to just relax and just kind of 
be alone and have some eucalyptus towel on my face and just kind of relax. You know, being a mom, it's a long day. It's a 24-7 job and sometimes I just need that extra me time. The gym is my me time. It's my therapy, but extra therapy is just being in the quiet space away from the phone. It is time to go work out and that is all. You can do it. <laughs>